Hey fellow, hey fellow diecasters, how, how is everybody? It's Todd from Mountain 66 Diecast. Uh, I got some cars in the, that showed up here in the mail. So, I think, uh, I don't know about you, but I think it's time to get this party started. Now it's a few, there's one dinky, there's one play art, and the rest are all matchbox. So, I am going to start out with this, this old play art. It's a Ford Capri. This car is nice shape. It, it this actually this play art here is actually um, kind of hard to find. Now I have a bunch of Capris in Matchbox. Now there is there is one problem with this one, and that's you can see here the wheel. See the wheel is broke here on the bottom half, but not to not to fear. So what I'm going to do this Porsche that's in my this Porsche here that's in my in my junkyard, and front, um, uh, I'm gonna take a couple of wheels and see that. Yeah, take a couple of this. Probably take. Well, it might be the other Porsche. Oh, it is. It's actually the other Porsche, my friends. There, here it is. It's in my junkyard. This one here, I'm gonna probably take these back wheels here off this one and put it on here the front. So that's not too bad. Um, you know, I'm going to. Fix, just drill this car apart, not touch, not touch the paint or anything. Just drill it apart, and I'm going to fix that axle. What do you guys think? I think that'd be appropriate, right? But I do have the wheels, or I'm just going to, uh, yeah. So I got the wheels for it. So that's my plan for that, and uh, and then put it back together. Alrighty, we're going to do another Ford sedan here. This is by Dinky. This is nice shape. Now I have, I have one that's. Uh, uh, red and white. I have one that's kind of a tan, tan color, and I do have a oh, and I have a green and white one. Now I have this blue and this blue and pink one here. I like this one. This is really nice shape for being in the late sixties, early seventies or so in there. I'm not sure exactly when this come out. But I like these Ford sedans. I like them. I I find that I know that. I don't know a lot about the dinky cars, uh, like history and stuff like that, but I do know that these ones come out in a few variations, so I like this. I ain't going to touch this up. The wheels and everything are still good on that, and I do have a whole boatload of wheels that come in now, so uh, there is a couple of my dinkies that I'm going to have to take apart and fix the wheels because the wheels are brittle, and they do. The rubber, the rubber over time, you know, they're basically an O-ring, right, but over time they will dry up and they will get brittle and I guarantee if I was to take them off the rim they probably all break right so alrighty my friends we're gonna get into the matchbox now now here I'm gonna show you an old girder truck now I do have a couple of these uh, actually mine are both mint and mine do have the red girders that come with them the I-beams now this one didn't now I got these these next five in a lot I bought these here from a guy that's just up, actually a guy that's just up the road here, not too far, maybe about maybe 45 minutes or so away from my city. So anyway, he only wanted, uh, actually this lot here, I got this lot for about 11 bucks. So I'm pretty happy with this, you'll see. So I, I can get the girders for this, and that's what I might do. This truck is mint, there's no doubt about it, other than a couple of little chips, right? So... Alrighty, now I did get a couple. I got a couple Matchbox military. Now, I, this is a tow truck here. I do have this already. I have a couple, two or three of these, but that's okay. The tip of the uh, the hook is broke off, but, you know, I like my I like my military stuff. I do have a pile of mili Matchbox military. So this did come in the lot. It's got some, it's got some marks now, but you know what? It's military, so... Uh, believe it or not, when it comes to the military vehicles, I'd rather have them scratched up a little bit because it, well, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's exactly what they are. They're military. So, you know, I, I like them better than the pristine ones, right? So I always could get a hook for that, but I'm not going to. Now, this one, my friends, this next one here, I did not have in my military collection. And it's just a dump truck. Looks like an old super fast. 
This is a nice shape. Now, I do not have this one, so this is a very nice bonus here for me. And there's one other car in this lot uh, that's really nice shape too. So, I don't see well, that dumper there hasn't been a, hasn't been abused. This truck really hasn't seen much action, but I like this. I again, as I said before, this is just uh, this is going to be a very uh, nice addition to to my. Um, uh, to my military uh, collect side of the collection, I should say. Yeah, I think that rolls straight as Cupid's arrow, you know what I mean? So, that's good. I'm happy with that. Now, here's the other reason I got this. It is old toad. Now, I do have one of these with the original box. Mine is mint. This is part of the lot. This truck usually goes for good money on eBay and that. But I didn't buy it for that, my friends. But... And the hook, some some kid painted the the hook, so I think I've got I've got a red marker or something, so I might be able to just do the red on that again, or I might just leave it too. So the guy painted the painted it white, so other motorists would be able to recognize the hook or whatever. So I don't know, we'll see. But this truck tow truck is in nice shape. I had one of these as a kid. But as I said, I have one in my collection that's mint with the original box. Now, this is very nice shape other than, yeah, a couple of marks on the thing. But that there, that truck, this tow truck now is starting to really go for good money. So, but again, I didn't, I don't, I don't just collect cars just for monetary thing. You know what I mean? So, alrighty, my friend. Now, I'm going to show you the last one in this. Um, this is a GT. Look at this one. Really nice shape. Look at that. I have now, I do have one of these, but they're, it's not like this, I can tell you that. So this and that um, uh, military dump truck and the tow truck were the primary reasons why I bought this lot. But I think even the girder truck, I can get the replacement girders for that. And, uh, and the tow truck too, if I wanted to, uh, I wouldn't have no trouble moving that as well. If I, But, you know, but there... Anytime I buy a lot, it's, it's there's always a few cars in there that are my main, you know, main objective. You know what I mean, guys? So what do you think of that? I think that looks nice. That is really nice shape. Original wheels. So that is definitely, again, going to look good on my shelf. And I'm not a big GT guy. I like this GT because it's the old one as far as I'm concerned. One of the granddaddies as far as Hot Wheels or, you know, or Matchbox or this well, this is a matchbox, I should say, but I think it's pretty sweet. Alrighty, now I do. I am. I've got two more cars, and they're all matchbox, but they have. They are with the box. Alrighty, I'm just opening this up. Hang on a sec here. Okay. Alrighty, my friend. Pardon. Bear with me here for a second. I apologize. Look at this here. This is absolutely. Now I have a few of these. Here it is, a scaffolding truck. Original box, this is not a repo. So, pretty sweet. So, what do you think? And as you can see here on the illustration here, it does have scaffolding. So, without further ado, look at here. Still got all the girders in it, or the scaffolding thing. Absolutely, look at this. This, I, this is absolutely sweet. Oh, let me get my big mitts out of there. There we go. Look at there. Check this out. Look at this here. This is absolutely sweet. Absolutely. What do you think of that? That is that is awesome. I I do have a couple. I know I do have a couple of these in my matchbox in my loose section. Um. I have a, well, this truck here, I've actually got quite a few guys. I shouldn't, shouldn't be, I got to keep it real. I got a few of them. And, and again, uh, I've got at least three, four, maybe five rough. But I have two or three, maybe four, really nice shape. But this one here, this one here is the cat's, uh, is the rice and the pudding. You know what I mean? So this is the cat's meow here. I think I'm I'm happy with that big time. That this truck has not been played with, and it is in the '60s. Alrighty, my friend, we're gonna close. I think I'd only be fitting. I'm gonna close the video out with with a real sweet one here. Again, original box. This is an Alpha. 
Carabo. Now this come out, this casting come out in 1970. I had one of these as a kid. And, well, so this is a pretty sweet. Now this again, just like the the gird or the scaffolding truck, excuse me. This is original box. It's not a repo. You can see it's got some issues in that here. So we're gonna bring the beast out. Look at this. Okay. Now I have one that's on the shelf. Uh, that is meant better than, actually, uh, I would say pretty close to, I actually might even be a little bit better than this one, just looking at this quickly. Uh, but this is still not bad shape. Uh, this is the first time I opened these guys, so, see, it's got some, it's got some box rash there a little bit. Yeah, uh, this is, this is a nice shape, yellow base. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think, uh, again, I believe this card come out, it had pretty much for the most part during that time period, it come out with the same wheels. But if I can remember correctly, I think the base plate come out in a couple of different colors. Yellow was the primary one, but again, I'm not 100% sure as to what the other color is. Not sure if it's white. It's a it's a different color. I've seen it in lease, unless maybe it was a restored one. But I think that was the only difference on this car. that Matchbox did was once once in a while you'd see the odd one, not a lot of them, where they would have a different colored base plate. So, and I think the I think it's greens another. I think I've seen it green as well. So there might be two or three colors. I know there's another color. And again, now if it's something that's been restored or whatever, well, that don't really count, right? But but I'm happy to get this. Again, hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, hope you guys like this as well. Enjoy this. I know this is going to be sweet. So, but guys, as I said, that is going to be the last car. Or this is going to be the one that is going to close out the video. Again, I hope you enjoyed checking these out. I enjoyed sharing them with you. As always, like, comment, or subscribe. And, uh, you know, keep hunting out there. Leave a few on the pegs for me. And uh, thank you for watching.